Hello, family. Hello, acupuncture world. I don't think that will be too loud. All right, we have some incredibly important things to talk about today. I'm gonna wait till a few people pop on here. I'm gonna share this video on my other pages. And please share this, you know, whether we're doing it live or after you hear what I'm gonna talk about, uh, please be sure to share this video. This is incredibly critical information for our profession. Um, really fascinating also, but really, really, really important stuff. So make sure that we get this out there. Hi, Elena. Thank you for joining. Such an important message today. What's up, Robert Chu? Hello, everybody joining. I am just sharing this on a couple of my pages, waiting for people to come on, and then we will get going. I have a very interesting information for you today. Um, all right. Let me share this. Hello, hello, everybody joining. I'm just waiting a few minutes for people to pop on, and then we're going to get going. After you hear this message, um, please be sure to share this video so that our profession is informed. This is super important stuff for us to know, like crazy important stuff. There's a lot of things happening right now and they are all connected. Um, and you know, I said on my stories that it's kind of conspiracy, but it's not conspiracy. You know, you always want to examine the information that you're given um, for sure. And I'm gonna give you guys a lot of information and you can make your own thoughts about this. Um, but it's some really intense stuff. Okay, I have shared it. There is a good group of you guys on here now. All right, so let me bring up my notes. All right, how's everybody doing today? So of course, you know, as we're on here live, if you wanna chat about this, just chat in the little comment box and as I keep saying, after you've watched this, um, if, you've, if you feel aligned with the importance of this message, please do share this video because I think it's really important um, for our profession to be informed. So, you know, I'm, I'm giving you this information for that reason, you know, because we need to be an informed profession. And a lot of the times we're not. A lot of the times because our energy is focused on trying to, you know, build a successful practice. Hey, G, I'm glad to see you on here. Um, so a lot of times we're not informed, you know, and we're just still working on getting uh, all of, you know, just leadership organizations together and we don't really have one main hub uh, where we can all go. So I'll be the hub. <laughs> all right, so let's get into this. So follow along because there's a few pieces and it all um, combines together. Um, and they all are related. So um, there is something called electroceuticals. Um, I am not planning on any training in India, but it's, thanks for the question. <laughs> um, you can follow me on here though. But um, so electroceuticals have been out for quite some time now, uh, but recently they're getting a lot more attention um, from uh, national health associations and from uh, big pharma, especially from big pharma. And what electroceuticals are, um, are bioelectrical therapy. I'm going to read to you what they are, just a little summary. So electroceuticals are a bioelectrical therapy that prompt the body to produce endorphins, which help to relieve pain in the body of the patients. So usually there's an inflammation, which is the central phenomenon in all diseases, starting from cancer to diabetes. And secondly, this inflammation can be controlled through electrically stimulating the vagus nerve. Electrical devices, which are the electroceuticals, are used for the treatment of epilepsy, cardiovascular disease, cancers, paralysis, rheumatoid arthritis, depression, diabetes, migraines, ADHD, and more. Um, they also are used for wound healing because it's a, uh, 
you know, I've been reading up on this and one article said the body naturally generates electrical fields during healing. And once there is a wound, cells will push ions through their membranes to generate an electrical field, which helps the cells align and grow in the direction of the wound. So uh, as an example for how electroceuticals will treat ADHD, uh, it targets the trigeminal nerve and has been shown to increase activity in brain regions responsible for attention, emotion, and behavior. So, <laughs> basically what I just read to you is the scientific explanation for why acupuncture works. So when I first came across electroceuticals, my mind was blown because this is literally our medicine. This is literally the scientific explanation for why acupuncture and everything that we do with our patients works. If you've never heard of electroceuticals before, I highly encourage you to do some Googling and start to read about them. So I'm talking to you about electroceuticals because uh, they have been getting intense amounts of funding lately. <laughs> and um, first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about two two associations and things that have funded electroceuticals lately. So in October of 2016, the U.S. National Institute of Health, the NIH, uh, announced $20 million in funding for the treatment of disease with electrical stimulation, which aims to improve maps of the peripheral nervous system. And uh, moreover, the funding is actually part of $248 million funding, which is a seven-year program, um, and they announced that in 2014. So the National Institute of Health has put in $248 million into uh, this electroceutical studies, basically. And then furthermore, um, Glaxo. Smith & Klein, which is like a huge, huge, big pharma. Um, they merged in 2016 also with Google's parent company called Alphabet. And they did that to set up a new bioelectrical company, so, so bioceutical or uh, electroceutical company um, called Bioelectronics. And the Glaco Smith & Klein invested about $615 million dollars for the development of this electroceutical company. So, <laughs> is everybody follow, following along so far? So basically, there's this thing out called electroceuticals, and it is, in a nutshell, what acupuncture does to the body, how acupuncture scientifically works. Yeah, gee, I'm not even done yet. <laughs> That's just setting up the stage. <laughs> so basically, yeah, there is something they're now calling electroceuticals. It is pretty much exactly how acupuncture impacts the body. And there have now been hundreds of millions of dollars invested into this, particularly from Big Pharma um, and the National Institute of Health in order to um, start to do research and develop more electroceuticals to help treat the body. So that's the first thing that's happening. It's kind of bananas. <laughs> All right, so the second thing that's happening is um, there was some uh, information that was out recently. And again, you know, um, always, no, don't say uh-oh, Ling. <laughs> Follow me this whole talk. We'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> um, there was some information that was out recently. And like I said, always check your information, you know, always question things, examine it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm about to talk about, Brenda. <laughs> that is exactly it. So, so there's that information was out recently that Brenda's talking about where um, Google has absolutely decimated the visibility of some natural and alternative uh, major health websites lately. And this information was a period tracked from April of last year to April of this year. Um, so again, you know, we always need to take everything with a grain of salt, what we hear. But there are people that are the owners of these websites and they're starting to speak out about this. And they say that it's pretty true about what happened with their visibility. So, you know, there are websites like the Top 10 Home Remedies, um, Paleo Hacks, Green Med Info, Rob Wolf, Mark's Daily Apple, 
um, Dr. Well, Wellness Mama, Mercola, Mind Body Green, Dr. Axe, you know, Live Strong, all of these really popular natural medicine and alternative websites, um, their changes in visibility have gone down by like some of them like 90%. So that means when someone is randomly Googling on Google now for this information, these websites will no longer come up at the top of the Google search because they have just been completely censored by Google in the last year. Also in the last year, the Mayo Clinic and WebMD, two popular Western medicine sites, their visibility has actually gone up. <laughs> so, so, Due to what I just told you, you know, which is a collaboration between Big Pharma, the GlaxoSmithKline, and, and Google, it's not a surprise that this is happening. You know, like I said, some people will say this is a conspiracy theory, but this is real. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is putting the pieces together. There's one more really big piece I'm gonna tell you about too. <laughs> you know, so three years ago, Everybody gets really interested in electroceuticals. They start to um, invest millions of dollars in electroceuticals. Big Pharma um, invests with Google and then all of a sudden natural medicine websites and alternative medicine websites, their visibility in the last year, a year after the millions of dollars invested has gone down by up to 90%. That is just not a coincidence. There is no coincidences in this world. Everything is connected, you know? So, the last piece to all this information is, some of you have probably received some emails lately from the ASA, the American Society of Acupuncturists. Um, and they have put out a call to us um, because who has requested information from us but the NIH, the National Institute of Health, which I earlier told you um, funded $248 million into, um, into understanding how to treat diseases with electrical stimulation for electroceuticals. So <laughs> if you've received these emails from the ASH, um, you know, I give the ASH, you know, mad props for what they're up to. Um, but there's a bigger picture that's going on that I want you to understand. Uh, and that's why I'm giving you this information. Because the bigger picture is that the, N it's, the NIH is requesting feedback on the development of a database of acupoints. And at first you'd think, that's amazing. They're finally acknowledging our medicine, right? But I hate to pop your bubble. This is not for us. This is not for our medicine. Brenda, yes, exactly. Thanks for popping that up there. So then for people that can see, Brenda put up a link for the whole Google censoring that's going on. Um, so, so, you know, the, N the NIH is requesting feedback. You know, they're, they're seeking information on things like um, appropriate standard metrics for acupoint stimulation, appropriate anatomical references and anatomical regions for acupoints, um, the value of acupoints for treatment of complex diseases and disorders, appropriate outcome measures, uh, minimum data requirements for acupoints. I mean, they are basically asking us, and I'm honestly not sure if the NIH has only requested this from acupuncturists or not, but they're basically asking us to give them all the information that we know and learn as acupuncturists in order to develop a database of acupoints they're saying however i really doubt this is for the mainstreaming of eastern medicine <laughs> and i highly highly bet that this is for the mainstreaming of electroceuticals and the 248 million dollars that they've invested in the funding um, for studying this stuff so <laughs> this is the reality of what is happening. And I want to talk to you about this because nobody said um, that mainstreaming Eastern medicine is gonna be easy. And we need to learn how to be fluid with these changes that are coming. Because we 
cannot stop this from happening. You're welcome. Thanks for listening. And please share this message because I feel like our profession really needs to be aware of this um, because with, with an understanding of this, um, it won't be, you know, so scary. It won't be much of a shock. Plus, you know, we need to work together. We cannot be us against them. We cannot be us against big pharma, us against Western doctors. It needs to be a collaborative thing and we need to be ready for change that's coming. And you know, it's coming pretty rapidly these days because that was an investment just three years ago. Um, and now there's major shifting in Google. Um, and I mean, the things that they are, the FDA is approving for the electroceuticals now, you know, I mean, it's rampant right now. So do some Googling. So, you know, we, we really need to be fluid with these changes that are coming. And in order to do that, you know, we need to, we need to do all the work that we're always doing together, which is working on our ego, working on our confidence, um, learning how to communicate, learning uh, how to educate our patients, you know, all this kind of stuff, which is so, so important because we need to be collaborative with what is going on. We need to be ready for these changes that are rapidly coming. And, you know, we need to not be so attached to what our profession currently is because there's probably undoubtedly some changes coming and we really don't know what's going to happen to acupuncture or acupuncturists. I'm sure with anything, you know, I mean, we don't know. Um, and Brenda's asked, but do you honestly think they have the patient's best interest at heart or are they trying to dominate? Well, Brenda. <laughs> Initially, like my gut and my heart and my intuition says dominate, you know, it's money. It's always about money, you know? And so, you know, if you read the definition of electroceuticals, it's what we've been doing with our medicine for thousands and thousands of years. But what we do is take money away from them, you know? And so now they want, they, they know that alternative treatments are becoming more and more popular and they want to be able to make money off of it, you know? And so, so, you know, I mean, look at what's happening these days with surgery and pharmaceuticals and all this stuff. Like, that's not for the good of the patient, you know, and now they're going to start doing electroceuticals. I mean, if, if anything, like at least electroceuticals will possibly heal people, you know, a lot better and then they won't have to go on so many pharmaceuticals. Like, this is the thing, guys. We don't know what's going to happen. This could totally backfire on them and it could push people towards acupuncturists. You know, like you got to think about that too. Like we have really no idea what's going to happen with this, but I really want you to be informed and to understand what's happening and to see the big picture. You know, even with the ASH putting out this call for us to leave comments about, you know, this feedback that they want, which, you know, yes, I did. Because again, we need to work together. You know, if they want to do a database of acupoints, I would prefer that they would get that information from us. You know, but is it really for the greater good of acupuncturists? I doubt it. <laughs> you know, like I doubt it. However, could it turn around and turn into that? Yeah, you know, it could. It really could. Um, so we don't know. So what we need to do is continue on our mission, you know, and continue to really, really, really um, be focused on mainstreaming Eastern medicine. Continue to work through our um, you know, insecurities and lack of confidence and triggers and disempowering thoughts so that we can be incredible practitioners to our patients and we can treat more and more patients. They can spread more and more word of mouth, you know, so that, so that people are, the more people that are first introduced to this electrical healing through acupuncture, the better, because then they'll see too that electroceuticals is doing what acupuncture does. Again, we need to be fluid. We need to be ready to work together. Um, and we need to not resist changes that are coming um, because it's happening. <laughs> so uh, I had one more point. Um, when I was free flowing, it came through my head, but now I can't remember. <laughs> um, so, oh yes, I remember. Um, the other reason that I want you to be um, informed about this is because this is information that you can tell your patients. You know, you can, for one, start to explain a lot more um, 
uh, scientifically and Western wise how acupuncture works. And you can even explain to your patients that, hey, you know what? You know, Western medicine is starting to use something now called electroceuticals, which is exactly, exactly what acupuncture does and how it heals the body. You can give them information on electroceuticals, you know, like all kinds of stuff. I mean, you know, like everybody in the States knows about ASH taking over a lot of the acupuncture insurances and the refunds are going down. Like everything is connected, you guys. Again, this isn't to to um, make you scared you know this isn't to make you upset this is to information to empower you because you can't change what's happening change is always happening and we want to be fluid we want to be informed we want to know how to speak to our patients when they ask us questions about this stuff we want to be able to talk to western doctors about this stuff you know i mean this is what it's about is being informed so you know I encourage you to dive into this information, um, to share this information, to talk about this information. Um, yes, you're welcome, G. Yes, exactly. It really is. I mean, really, like I read to you in the beginning, that is literally a Western reason why acupuncture works. Like everybody's always like, oh, you need scientific proof that acupuncture works. That's it. <laughs> like, that's exactly what we're doing. And now, the National Institute of Health is collecting information on how acupuncture points work because they know it works, you know? So, I mean, this is just, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, and this is happening, and they are all together, and they all are connected, and change and shift is coming. So, yes, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you guys. I want you to be informed. Please share this. Um... I can, I can put up the links to um, some of the articles that I read, Ling, so that you can um, read through the articles where I, where I got that information from. Um, I'll do that in the comments after this live is over for you. Um, but yeah, just Google electroceuticals and you'll start to read a bunch of, um, a bunch of articles. on. I mean, literally the first time I read it, my mind was blown. I was like, what? What? Like, this is exactly what our medicine does. And to just see like the billions, okay, millions of dollars that is invested into it. Yes, G, exactly. G says that this will propel the acupuncture world forward. I agree. You know, I think that, you know, initially it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then you're like, well, wait a minute. I mean, you know, if they, because here's the thing, you guys, I believe with all of my heart that positivity and good always, 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 always wins. I don't know how long it takes, but it always wins. And, you know, if if Big Pharma and stuff is learning more about how acupuncture, acupoints, you know, and the electric of the body works for a means to make money off of it, like I said, it really could backfire and it could actually push a lot more people towards acupuncture. So we really want to talk about this stuff to everybody, you know, to our patients. We want to be involved. We want to work together with whatever is happening here. Um, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, and we want to embrace this as a positive change for our profession. Like I said, mainstream media medicine, we never said it would be an easy job. And the other thing to remember is that you want to be clear on the destination and flexible on the journey of how we're going to get there. And our destination is to mainstream Eastern medicine, and that's what we're doing. I mean, we really are doing some incredible work. You guys are doing amazing. We've seen some huge shifts in our profession in the last five years. Yes, talk to this with every single patient, you know, every single one. Tell them to share this news, you know, and so... So, thank you. Um, and so, so this is it. You know, information, be informed, share this information. Please share this video. You know, it is such important information. It is critical for everyone to understand what's happening and to not be scared of these shifts and changes that are coming. But let's embrace them and let's understand that this is only positive things for our profession. Although it might not be in the way that you imagined it would be. And that's why we need to put our ego aside and be open to the fluid changes that are going to happen. And let's embrace them, you know, and let's work with them and let's work together. Because really, ultimately, 
what is this about it's about helping people heal you know that's what it's about it's about helping someone feel better you know so remember 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 to stay focused on that why and don't make it us against them that's not going to work plus there's no way that we have millions and hundreds of millions of dollars to invest in this stuff. So, hey, they're going to invest it and they're going to do the, all the research for us. That's a good thing. What's up, Gerardo? <laughs> uh, do, I th- do you think I need to get national and state licenses? I have no idea your situation, so <laughs> I don't really know how to even answer that question. Um, but anyway... <laughs> Um, I think, uh, are you an acupuncturist? But you definitely need a license to be an acupuncturist. So that is your message for today. Please, please, please share this video um, with your colleagues. Talk to all your patients about this. Um, And um, spread this information because this is absolutely critical for our profession to know. We need to be empowered with knowledge and we need to um, not be scared of this stuff and embrace it. Okay. I love you guys. You're doing amazing. Keep healing the world. I'll see you next time.